Oh, come on. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I'm being beat. I'm being beat for what? Oh, shit. So apparently we're in this hotel here. Come on. Fuck. Come on, fight. Come on, Piper. Whoop his ass. Oh, shit. I'm dealing with a super mutant butcher. A butcher. Piper, come on. Come on, wait. Get up, Piper. I need you. I need you, baby girl. I need you. All right, one's down. How the hell did you? Ooh, money. All right, Piper. I think. Time is done. This is the age of the super mutant. Are you really yelling? What was that? He das was yelling. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'm just trying to get... Suffer and bleed. Oh my god, I'm just trying to get you got one of Dima's on things here. I got a broken leg, two arms that don't work, like... I don't even know how I'm functioning at this moment, but... By the grace of uh -huh. gaming gods, it's I'm moving around. <sighs> yep. Okay, I'll go this way, maybe. Is anyone behind me? Okay. You gonna wear my guts around your neck? Oh shit! Yo, I hit him right in the stomach. I'm gonna keep on doing it again, too. Why are you limping away? <laughs> Damn. I just love Fallout 4 logic where I can throw an atomic nuke and still survive. Like, that's so beautiful. I love this, honestly. Truly. But I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. Like, hold on. Bathroom? Nah, I'm good. The island? This is the exit. I'm not trying to go- Hi, Piper. How you doing, baby? There has to be a way for me to get down below. Hold on. I don't know where I'm going exactly, but you know what? Let me retrace my steps here. Let me go through here. Oh. Oh, snap. We got it. What's this? Wow. A hidden chamber? Oh, this is nice. And a dead body. That's cool. Thank you for your visit. You've using a luxury power. An additional fee has been charged to your room. Keep track of your stay, blah, blah, blah. Hey, hands where I can see them. What? Now, where is the key? What key? Franny, put the gun down. What exactly do you think you're going to accomplish? My job. You're going to give me that key, and I'm going to get paid. Paid? The, the world's over! Are you really- ah! He uh, died. Uh, he died for our key. Scream all you want, Arnie. Everyone's been evacuated. It's just you and me. Now focus. Where is the key? Run in hell! Down! Oh, he dead. We can do this all day, Arnie. Fine. The hell's it matter? It's on the boat. Fringe Cove docks. Combinations 44, 6, 75, 12. Now, was that so hard? So long, Captain. Now, where the hell's the release to this Oh, she got shot. Oh, shit. Sorry, Franny. 
You're stuck with me. That's crazy. Let me contact front desk. Nothing? Wow, that is insane. I'm gonna... Yeah, I have the tape on me. That's crazy. That is insane. At least I got the code, though. That's pretty cool. Um, let me see something. I'm on the Harbor Grand Hotel. And now, let me see. I'm just taking a look at the map here. Cliff's Edge Hotel. So there's actually two different hotels here. Sorry, two different hotels here. So now I have to worry about obtaining the nuclear launch key. And we should be all set. Let's get out of here and then we can definitely get on our way because I am not trying to stay here any longer than I have to. Because who wants to stay here? I know I don't. I've been traveling and I came across this other hotel as well. I was pretty curious to see what was in this one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I, this is what happens when I'm nosy. Too many fucking ghouls for me to deal with, like, I should have known better. I'm mad too. It's like, you can't really get any exploring done without having your ass ate. I thought I heard something for a second. Wait, music is still playing? How? Yeah, that's what I said, too. The fact that there's still music here. It's amazing. Okay, so if this is the first floor... Damn, Piper! Damn! Hey, attack me! Alright, you're good, baby. It's okay. Alright, so let me see if any of these elevators work. No? No. Yeah, all of these bathrooms are in horrible condition, naturally. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe I can go this way? Ooh, I got three bobby pins. Wish me luck. Maybe this would be... Oh, shit. Now I got two bobby pins. Got it. Wow, I did all that for nothing. Yay, for wasting my time. Ooh, what's over here? Some stairs? Oh, come on, man. Leave me alone. You think I want to mess with you guys? Like, that's too much work. Messing with ghouls will always be too much work. I don't know. Wow, this is some snazzy little place here. 
Okay, this is the outside. I hear the music again. Huh. I'm pretty curious to see who actually is living here. Besides the ghouls, of course. Yeah. This place is somewhat decent. I see some blood. I see a big handprint. Oh, wow. Wow, really? Really? You just had to smack me? Rotting feral ghoul? Oh, shit. This is so not cool. I just wanted to explore and I'm being harassed. Ew. The fact that that guy is still alive. Hey, yo, I hate when they do that. I hate when they run up on you and, and they just give you a hard ass smack. Like, bro, stop. Oh, of course I missed. Yo, that was a crazy shot. See, Piper got it. That's my girl right there. It's my baby girl. I hear that music again. Yo, these field goals are so annoying. No, but I'm, I'm just curious though, where is this music coming from? Never ending scary, let's go. Are you okay? Yeah, you should be okay. Oh shit! Doesn't look bad. Let me see. Oh. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Let me give you a stim pack, okay? Come out, come out. Boom! I'm sorry. He was about to attack me. What do you expect me to do, Piper? I'm not trying to geek. I'm not trying to get my ass eaten. I want to know where that music's coming from. Okay. Oh shit! Another one! Let's go! Oh come on! Why am I not loading? Corny! Woo! Alright, your turn. Alright, Piper, let's go. Get up. I just- I just love how I'm constantly stabbing Piper. Okay, I see, uh, more blood. Whoa, what's that? Stim pack? Hell yeah. So, I'll keep on going down below, see if I can find any... clues. Ooh, stim pack. Ugh. Interesting. Very interesting. This hotel is okay. I mean, I haven't found anything special yet. Ooh, down below. I am good. I am so good. I could have sworn there was something in here. Maybe I was wrong, but... Oh. Oh, there's more to explore. Let's go. Come on, Piper.
I love how even in the post-nuclear world, elevator music somehow survives. Like, that's just so funny to me. Hey. Point the way. Piper. Something I can do? Your thoughts? I'd rather know an ugly truth than a sweet lie. Preach. Preach. Hey. You say the word. What the hell? So much blood. It's insane. What kind of place is wait a minute, there's a new vault? Okay. Huh. There has to be a way for me to open this, so right here. I can't believe there's a vault underneath a hotel. Greetings! Welcome to Vault 118. Your home away from home. Underground. Are you the detective we sent for? Uh... No? No, I'm not a detective. Ah. Sorry to say, we aren't accepting new patrons at this time. Good day. That's it? Hmm. If I say I'm the detective, then they'll let me in, so... Did you change your mind about helping us investigate? We really could use some help. Are you going to help us? Maybe. Tell me what's going on. There's been a suspicious death. What? We sent someone for help, but no one has come to help us yet. Are you going to help us? Mm. Okay, I'll try to help. Uh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. Let me go ahead and change my clothes here because... Let me put on my vault jumpsuit so they know that, you know, I'm also a fellow vault dweller here. Gotta put on my glasses so I can see. Um, gotta put on my nice little Minutemen general hat here. See, look at that. Looking schnazzy. Oh! I mean... Do I really want that hat? I mean, do I really want that, um, that glasses? Nah, hold on. I want the regular, the regular glasses so they can see my beautiful eyes. There you go. Alright, so, let me see what's going on here. Wow. It's actually a vault within well, the, time the hotel. someone out to investigate. We have many important residents, and they are very worried. What happened? Who died? It's Mr. Parker, the primary owner and financier for the hotel. This is just a disaster. Okay. Um, you know what? Crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, detective. Before I do that, I'm gonna go and ask. Hey, just let me know. Piper, Don't take off blood. her outfit. No, hold on. I forgot to. Let me see. Press cap. Cause I want my girl to be all fashionable and shit. Um, got that. Yep, there you go. The classic Piper attire. Alright, so where am I going? And also, let me go ahead and change the... Uh, I can't even... You know what? Let me follow this guy here. Then maybe he'll give me, like, a new... Quest. Oh. I'm actually walking into a murder. 
This is a crime scene. Do you not see the glory of the thing? The artistry. What the hell is wrong with you? Excuse me? Ezra, you have outdone yourself. Oh, this is your finest work. There is more emotion in his death than most have had in their entire lives. Our friend is dead, Mr. Avita. Have you no respect? I just said that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is nothing Please, worse than it. Well, that's a nifty that's what this I is to you. Have your They're not gonna miss a little, are they? I'm sorry for shouting, but the detective has arrived and shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. Wow, I Have follow the crime scene for clues. If you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents, but their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. This is very similar to the Alda World's crime scene. Huh. Maybe huh, hold on. Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Okay. Hmm. Is this blood? Yeah, it is actually. This blood that leads to the bat. Nice. A baseball bat? Huh. What's this doing here? So, whoever killed um this guy here used a baseball bat to smash the capsule where his brain lies. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Uh, Why you no. talk like that? That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Was there everything else? Shut up. Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is Robo Brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. That's was insane. There else? So they basically have the same personality still. I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him? Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Maxwell, if you already know the process, bro, how come you have me to do it? Why couldn't you do it, bro? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. You know what? It's time for me to change this. Oh, right here. Right here. Sweet. So let me get started on the first thing, which is talking to the resonance, I suppose. And I have the first one here. Why did you do it, huh? He deserved better than that. You think I'm stupid? I saw the way he looked at you. You're gonna tell me that's nothing? It wasn't like that. We were friends. He helped me out of a tight spot or two is all. I couldn't stand by like some pasty-faced Percy while he put the moves on my best girl. But now the law is on our tail. What are we going to do? Come away with me. Let's leave this dark hole of a city behind. We can be in Buenos Aires by tomorrow. Oh, I want to believe you, I do, but... Don't never let us go. Then we'll make our stand here. I... I've got a gun for each of us. No, 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 no. The line is... Then we'll make our stand here. Two lovers together with a bullet for each of them. Oh, God. Why can't I ever get that line? Forget it. I can't do this right now. Ugh, fine. I'm going to the beach.
The fact that there's robot actors. Did you have questions about the case? I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. There's a story here. No fun. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I know. Huh. Wow, even the robot has his own weight room. Why does a robot need the toilet and a shower? Come on, bro. That's insane. Wow, the fact that they decided to plant their brains, their personalities, into these robots. Alright, so... What would be the next one here? Huh. Wow. Whoever has this has lots of good weapons and stuff. There we go. I'm gonna take this just in case because I feel like I'm gonna need it. Alright, so... Let me see who else I can actually talk to. No, I guess I don't need to talk to the concierge. And this you see- oh, this is a classroom, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna head upstairs and see if I can talk to other people. That's the overseer, okay. That's another concierge. Maintenance. And this is the artist's room right here. Art is life. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Okay. He's definitely not interested in talking to me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? Uh, let me see this piece. Um, it's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed, this was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda, number thirteen seventy-eight. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself this way. He is literally having me look at all his paintings. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. You must ascend. Wait, more? You have me more? 
to show? How are you? How are you? How are you dead ass going up the stairs? What the hell? This one. And please be honest. For art without honesty is just politics. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas. It doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I did the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man, huh? My fellow connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest work. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. That's my stuff, Santiago. Like about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can in the time that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this what feel from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What oh, is shit. of yours? Oh, he offended. Is there someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty? Not that brute actor. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. Why? That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. Damn. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gilda probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Never mind. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies and I'll see you next week.